Hey guys, this is SEC Analyze, and in this video, I will be covering quarterback Felipe Franks. As many of you know, Felipe Franks is a former Florida quarterback who transferred to Arkansas this past winter. Many college football net fans know of Felipe Franks for two reasons. One, he's a very talented quarterback, but two, he has been accused of being undisciplined on and off the field. And when I say off the field in this scenario, I mean on the sideline, shushing the camera, as well as his fans at home. Mistakes by both teams. So stop playing with me. Felipe Franks is a very interesting quarterback for this reason. However, it is sad to see a player with so much talent have so many important flaws. In this video, I will be explaining to you why Felipe Franks is so talented, as well as what those flaws are. The first way I will analyze Felipe Franks is through his statistics. Felipe Franks was one of the main quarterbacks in Florida's 4-7 season in 2017, and his stats show why Florida was so bad. Although he did throw more touchdowns and interceptions, a 9-8 to eight ratio is nothing to brag about. A 54 completion percentage still is not great, and 1,438 passing yards and 229 attempts is very far below average. Where you see Felipe Frank start grow as a quarterback is in his 2018 season, when he threw for 24 touchdowns with only 6 interceptions. If you add in his 7 rushing touchdowns, and Felipe Franks is one of the best quarterbacks in the SEC, and one of the best offensive systems in the NCAA. His completion percentage still did not grow by that much, being 58.4%, which shows you the level of inconsistency in a quarterback like Felipe Franks. What many casual college football fans don't know about Felipe Franks is his ability to run. In traditional Dan Mullen offenses, the quarterback nearly always can run, which adds to the level of the offensive production. Felipe Franks' 110 rushes for 350 yards is nothing incredible. However, it did help the offense work, and it allowed Felipe Franks to contribute in more ways than his very good arm. Although Felipe Franks' freshman year and junior year were not incredibly good, his sophomore year shows how good he can be as a quarterback, which earns him the fifth best rank on that statistical analysis scale. The second way I will analyze Felipe Franks is through the SEC Analyze Theorem. The first part of this is how well he fits into the offensive identity. For those of you who do not know, Arkansas's new offensive coordinator is Kendall Bryles. Hired in this last offseason, Kendall Bryles is one of the most underrated hiring the SEC. For those of you who do not know, Kendall Bryles was the offensive coordinator back when Baylor was scoring 70 points a game. Since then, he has been to various schools such as FAU, Florida State, and Houston, where he has shown that his offensive identity has improved and he can still be a very good offensive coordinator at the collegiate level and possibly the NFL level. His style of offense is fairly similar to Dan Mullen and will help Felipe Franks excel in his senior year. Although Arkansas was not beaming with quarterback talent this past offseason, they did sign Felipe Franks, which shows a level of trust that Kendall Bryles has in the quarterback. The second level is Felipe Franks' experience. Although he did not start all 11 games in 2017, and he only started four games in 2019. Felipe Franks' 13 games in 2018 was very impressive considering he faced defense such as Michigan, Georgia, LSU, and various others. I gave him an 85 for experience because although he did face those teams, he has not been a starting quarterback for as long as other quarterbacks like KJ Costello. Where Felipe Franks' rating goes down a little bit is in something that isn't even necessarily about him. Arkansas's offense next year, other than Felipe Franks, is going to be fairly scarce. Although Rakeem Boyd will be one of the best running backs in the SEC, they don't have a lot of help at the wide receiver offensive line position. 
if multiple other people can step up and can make Arkansas have a good offensive system, along with Kendall Browse, Rakeem Boyd, and Felipe Franks, then I will be surprised and impressed. But for now, I will give them a 74 overall rating only because of the respect I have for Rakeem Boyd. Although many fans do not realize it, Felipe Franks is one of the most talented quarterbacks in college football. His arm strength, speed, and just overall quarterback intelligence are extremely underrated. Because of this, I gave him an 86 of the talent, which averages out to an 82 overall the essay theorem, which makes him the ninth highest rated quarterback out of all SEC quarterbacks. Last and most important is his film analysis summary. As I've stated before, Felipe Franks is incredibly talented, and in 2018, he thrived in the offensive system that Dan Mullen provided for him. However, you do see various flaws in Felipe Franks. I do not know Felipe Franks as a person. I've never talked to him. Therefore, I really do not know what his actual character is. However, various things I've seen throughout his college career make me question his ability to lead a team if they are struggling. On the field, Felipe Franks has proven to be an inconsistent quarterback when under pressure and has proven to be decent at times only when he has a clean pocket. Although Arkansas will try to make this season as easy for him as possible, Arkansas does not have the offensive line to consistently give him a clean pocket in the SEC. If Felipe Franks ever wants to be a very good quarterback at the college level and have any shot at the pro level, he needs to be able to get off accurate passes while under pressure. After watching all of Felipe Franks' film, I've decided to rank him the ninth best quarterback from a film analysis standpoint. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you do appreciate this content. If you don't, tell me something that you would like to see about the SEC football, and I will try to get that out to you.